Hello kids, welcome back. I am your hubby ma'am. Today we will learn to solve the problems in which we will do both the operations of addition and subtraction together. As you know very well, this is plus sign and it is used for addition and this is minus and used for subtraction. Before we start solving the examples, it is important to know whenever addition and subtraction operations come together in a problem, do the operation that is given first from left to right. Let us look at the first example. Take your new guided mathematics textbook that is Oxford textbook and open page number page number 45. Here you can see addition and subtraction together. Moving to first example. Yes. You can see example 5, it is 18 plus 9 minus 17. You have to find the answer. So, here the first step is to add two numbers. That is, you have to add 18 plus 19 and find the sum. So, the answer is 27. Step 2 is to subtract the third number from the sum of the two numbers. So, you have to subtract 21, sorry, 27 minus 17. So, the answer is 10. Turn the page. It is page number 47. Exercise 3.2. Read the question given. Add and subtract the following three digit numbers. So, you have to add, then subtract the following three digit numbers. Let's start with the first sum. It is 500 plus 200 minus 400. So, you have to add first two numbers. You will get the sum. Then you have to subtract 400 to find the answer. Let's begin with the first step now. So, what is the first step? You have to add 500 plus 200. So, it is 0 plus 0. It is 0. Next, what is given? 0 plus 0 again. It is 0. Already numbers are, are placed in their respective place values. Next, 5 plus 2 gives you 7. So, my answer is 700. Next, what you have to do? Moving to the second step. What I should do, I have to subtract 400 from 700. So, now you have to subtract children. 0 minus 0, it is 0. Next, it is 0 minus 0, it is 0 again. Next, 4, you have to subtract from 7. Can you? Yes. 7 minus 4 gives you 3. So, the difference is 300. So, the final answer is 300. First, what you have to do? You have to subtract 500 plus 200. I am getting answer as the sum is 700. Next, you have to subtract 400. So, 0 minus 0, it is 0. 0 minus 0, it is again 0. Next, 7 minus 4, it is 3. So, the answer is 300. Move to next sum. 650 plus 240. 240 minus 130. 650 plus 240 minus 130. Now you have to add. See the sign? It is plus. So I have to add. 0 plus 0, it is 0. Next, 5 plus 4. 5 in the mind and 4 on the fingers. After 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. My answer is 9. Next, 6 plus 2, 6 in the mind, 2 on the fingers. After 6, 7, 8, my answer is 8. So, the sum is 890 minus 130. Now, see the sign, it is minus. So, I have to subtract 0 minus 0, it is 0. 9 minus 3, leave 9 fingers and take away 3 fingers. It is 6. You have to subtract. 8 minus 1. It is 7. So, the answer is 760. 
next two hundred and fifty plus three hundred and fifty minus you have to subtract two hundred and seventy five. So already the numbers are placed in their respective place values ones, tens, and hundreds. Now we shall start from ones place zero plus zero it is zero. Listen carefully. Five plus five. Five in the mind, five on the fingers. After five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have to write zero here and carry over one over here. So you have to take the other number to the hundreds place. So two plus one, it is three. Three plus three, it is six. So the answer is six hundred. The so my sum is six hundred. I have to subtract. Two hundred and seventy-five. So what I should do? Leave zero fingers and take away five fingers. Can you? No. So what I should do? I should go borrow from tens place. Here already it is zero. Will it give? No. So I have to go to the hundreds place. It gives one. So it becomes ten here. If it is giving one, it becomes one less. So it is seven. So again, I have to borrow one here. So it becomes nine. It gives one here. So it is ten. So start from five and count till ten. After five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My answer is five. Nine minus seven. It is two. Seven minus two. It is five. So difference is. Five hundred and twenty-five. So next D, E, and F. You are doing it as homework. So next I will do the sum G, starting with first step two hundred and sixty-four plus three hundred and twenty-one minus two hundred. So let's begin with the first step now. So two hundred sixty four plus three hundred twenty one. First, starting from ones place. Four plus one it is five. Next, six plus two six in the mind. Two on the fingers. After six, seven, eight. So my answer is eighty five. Next, two plus three it is five again. So five hundred and eighty-five. You have to subtract two hundred. So five minus zero. Leave five fingers and take away zero fingers. It is five again. Eight minus zero. It is eight. Five minus two. It is leave five fingers and take away two fingers. So my answer is three. So the difference is three hundred and eighty-five. Next, five hundred plus three hundred. Minus two hundred, so five hundred. First step. Next, you have to add with three hundred. Zero plus zero, it is zero again. Next, zero plus zero, it is zero again. Three plus five, it is eight five six seven eight. Now moving to the second step. You have to subtract two hundred. Zero minus zero, it is zero. Zero minus zero, it is zero. Eight minus two, it is Six. So the difference is six hundred. Next, six hundred forty-two plus hundred minus two hundred and fifty. Shall we start? Yes. Two plus zero it is two. Four plus zero it is four. Six plus one it is seven. Next, you have to take away two fifty. Two minus zero it is two. Here leave four fingers and take away five fingers. Can you? No, it is not possible. So I have to borrow from seven. If it gives one, it becomes six. Here it is giving one. It is fourteen. Now count from five till fourteen. You have to stop. After five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. My answer is nine. 
6 minus 2. It is 4. 492 is the difference. So, rest you can see 3 more sums. J, K, L. You are doing it as homework. That's all for today, children. Bye. Take care.